So what I produced here was actually a pretty fatal mistake. You see these cheap battery boxes that I got almost for free at the uh, Intersolar Munich at the Smarter E. So the thing with those is I put some cells in them and there's plus and there's minus and because they have the same color like for whatever reason I connected it the wrong way. So that was my plus and <laughs> that was my minus because um, I wanted to discharge some of these batteries that I have sitting around here with my little test setup here uh, just because it's winter outside so yeah snow is on the panels and I need some electricity in the house and well I connected everything up the system was already running with these two batteries here and then I connected this up, nothing happened, of course, they were switched off. I switched on the BMS. Down here we have um, a JK BMS. Up here we have a JBD Smart BMS. This one is on, it doesn't have an on-off switch. And this one was off and I switched it on right now. And then as a last step, I flipped the breaker. And what happened was, well, the breaker tripped immediately and also the breaker of this battery here tripped and also the breaker of this battery tripped and all the BMS they remain all on so the BMS did not trip in this case it was only the breaker tripping and the Victron system it shut down but it recovered so I'm so glad it recovered all seems to be good so yeah those are the two batteries that are connected um, with CAN communication. They both have the um, JK and Werder BMS inside. And yeah, they're online. It's just fine, no problem. Okay, <laughs> let's quickly switch this off. So the inverter is powering this here now. There is no battery and it states no battery. So it's complaining but yeah. And those are still off. In order to reset this one, you have to switch it off first and then you can switch it back on. This one is off, this one is off. We are disconnected here. This one is off and now I will reverse. <laughs> <laughs> my failure yeah those things happen even if you are very routinated maybe even especially if you do that every day sometimes you might be tired and those faults happen yeah pretty annoying But I'm glad nothing really broke. At least that's what I think. I mean, none of the BMS even switched off, so should be all good. Okay, all good now. Um, let's start connecting back these here. No biggie. And now it should work. Yeah, this one is already dumping energy into one of the others. Now we have power on the Victron system again and we are discharging again. Yeah, those displays they have no they have no function also the can ports don't have function for this one up here i will utilize those ports again just not a display and i will also put a jk inverter bms in there last year i didn't have a jk inverter bms on hand so 
I used spearmass that I had lying around, but they're good enough. Both work just fine. Just no can communication. Okay, just to make sure that really nothing broke, I will just check. So we have 12.7 amps here. Then here we should have a bit more, 25.6 amps. Here we have 40.8 amps and here we have 62 amps. All right. So all batteries are still functional. So what I produced here was actually a pretty fatal mistake. And to be honest, I'm really glad that even these cheaper breakers here, they really disconnected. Their magnetic trigger mechanism worked just fine. And of course, the better breakers also disconnected. I'm wondering that none of the BMS really disconnected with this reverse polarity, like it's crazy. There's a voltage difference of about 100 volts. And yeah, those cells have, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. I'm glad nothing happened and everything is just fine. And those breakers are really good if you have those breakers that can magnetically disconnect. It's really something. Let me put on a lens here. Mm, I will check out these in another video. And well, those breakers are at least also DC rated. If you see that here, yeah. 60 volts DC is no problem for those. And those larger ones, they feel better. So I like to use those in my batteries. Uh, I will make a separate video on all these batteries here and the story and the manufacturers. There are more coming, so <laughs> stay tuned.